I was at Toronto Film Festival and I saw a whole bunch of movies. Let's talk about them from worst to best. Let's do it. The worst film I saw at the festival was Viggo Mortensen's directorial debut, Falling. Within this film, Viggo Mortensen plays a gay man who has to deal with his very old conservative father coming to live with him and his family. This movie is basically just an embarrassing attempt at being Oscar bait. It kind of reminded me of Green Book, except this movie was somehow more obvious, cheesy, and transparent. Viggo Mortensen's family is like the most obnoxiously perfect thing ever. He's got a Chinese-Hawaiian husband who's basically just a prop to look pretty, and they've got a perfect bilingual adopted Spanish child. And oh no, this old conservative father is going to mildly annoy Viggo Mortensen the entire movie. And the entire time we have to wonder why Viggo Mortensen just doesn't put his father in a home. Literally the entire movie is just his father being homophobic and sometimes racist. And oh so calm and perfect Viggo Mortensen has to be like, please dad, stop doing that. I'm very calm and I'm very perfect. Can't you see that you are upsetting our perfect family, you have to stop it or else I might raise my voice a little by the end of the movie. The entire thing just feels so over dramatic and forced and goofy and fake. There are some good performances in this movie, but they're really wasted on this terrible script. The child actors were annoying and couldn't act very well. The editing was cheesy and there were unjustified montages. The entire movie was unbearably predictable and you could tell exactly what was going to happen in every single scene. This movie was not that bad as a comedy, but it certainly was not trying to be. The ending was sloppy and incredibly unearned. It was pretty trash. It was funny for the wrong reasons, and that's about it. If you like garbage Oscar bait movies, then maybe watch this one, I don't know. And I'm giving this one a 4 out of 10. Another film I saw was a Canadian drama horror film called Violation. This movie wasn't completely terrible. There were some interesting color choices and some some good music, there was some good gore, and some fun horror action sequences that had some illogical parts within them. But unfortunately, the positive aspects of the film didn't make up very much of it. This film takes a long time to get to where it's trying to go, and during this we are treated to very boring characters and dialogue. When I'm watching a Charlie Kaufman film, I feel as though none of the dialogue is wasted or purposeless, and this film really felt like the polar opposite in that sense. The dialogue scenes in this film felt as though they were just an unimportant way to kill time before the horror parts started. Like, nothing that's being said is important or interesting, it's just kind of there. And this might be acceptable if any of the characters were likable, but they're not. There are some interestingly shot sequences that are trippy and have scary music, but they feel really unearned. I understand that they're supposed to be foreboding, but it feels really out of place considering the rest of the film. These sequences and the soundtrack within them imply so much more than what's actually happening in the movie. And even once the horror aspects of this film actually start happening, it often just reverts back to more boring, uninspired dialogue scenes. Near the end of the film, it does start to develop and get a bit interesting, but it takes way too long to get there. By the end of it, I was pretty unsatisfied with how little actually happened. Overall, this film gives the impression of one that thinks it's being profound without being aware of how shallow it really is. Check this one out if you want, but I thought it was pretty boring. And I'm giving this one a 4 out of 10. Another film I saw was Penguin Bloom, starring Naomi Watts and Andrew Lincoln. It is the inspiring true-life story of a woman who suffers a terrible accident, and then her family takes in a magpie and names it Penguin, and the peng the magpie just helps them to be better people, I guess. I'm sure you could tell by my tone of voice that this film was very boring and sappy. I made it about 15 minutes into the movie before I just gave up and decided to look up the true real-life story on some clickbait article instead. And wow, what a surprise, the real-life story is also pretty boring. So yeah, I didn't watch the whole movie, I just watched the first part of it and gave up because it was really obviously boring trash, so yeah. And I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10. I got like 15 more movies to talk about from TIFF, and they get better with each video, so stay tuned. And then after that, uh, there will be some uh, quickies for the, the movies from Vancouver Film Festival. I am working on my Lion King video, it's not gonna be out this month. It'll be out when it's ready. Please be patient. Thank you. Bye-bye.